Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayaz Tech. Today we are diving into a common challenge in Angular development, working with HTML content binding. Whether you are displaying rich text content, integrating with a CMS or rendering dynamic HTML. Understanding how to properly bind HTML content is crucial for Angular developers. Let's start by understanding why simply using interpolation with HTML content doesn't work as expected. So let me show you how many developers try for the first time. So first of all, for example, you have HTML content stored in a variable in the form of string like h1. Okay, I have prepared this basic HTML code in the form of string. And then you would normally go to the HTML and you will add a div like this and here you would add html content but you would notice that this is how it will look so when you run this code instead of seeing the formatted html you will see the raw html tags displayed as text this happens because angular automatically escapes html content to prevent security vulnerabilities this is actually a good thing it protects your application from cross-site scripting attacks the solution to our problem is using angular's built-in inner html property binding so this is how you will accomplish it. Instead of putting this variable here in this way, just remove it from here and we will use our directive from Angular that is inner HTML and paste the variable that you want to interpolate. Okay, so now if you check, everything is working correctly. I forgot to close this h1 tag. Okay, this is how it will look now. So this approach properly renders the HTML content while still maintaining some security protections. Angular will sanitize the content by default, removing potentially dangerous elements and attributes. For example, here we have the script tag. Okay, in the JavaScript tag, you can do the dangerous work. I mean, any hacker, if they somehow pass the script through the string, then he can get access to your data or he can do anything that is not appropriate. So for example, I have added the script here. I will add the alert. Okay, save it. Now I reloaded that, but it did not render this part. Just to show you, I will show you the inspect element. And in the P tag, you can see there is no script tag that we added. Even if I move it outside of the P tag, it would still not work. Let me show you like this. Okay, you see that Angular automatically removed that script tag because that is not safe to use in most of the cases. But let's talk about Angular security features and how to handle cases where you need to bypass sanitization. But make sure this is dangerous, so use it with caution. So let's go back to the app.component. I am going to cut this part and here I will set the type to safe HTML because it is now going to contain only the safe HTML. We will not let developer to add any unsafe HTML to this variable. So this type would protect us from doing that. Now we need a constructor and within that constructor, I will inject a service sanitizer, DOM sanitizer. Make sure to import the DOM sanitizer from the Angular slash platform. Also import the safe HTML from it. Once we have that, we will create a raw HTML and paste the same HTML string here. Now I will use this dot HTML content is equal to this dot sanitizer dot bypass security trust HTML and pass it the raw HTML. Okay, save it. Okay, so now I will show you here the script tag is now added here. Okay, but although it is still not showing the alert because Angular is still trying to protect you, it is not executing the JavaScript, but it has included the script tag as the proper DOM element. Okay, so let's try another example where I will add a button here, click me. And within that button, I will add click event on click is equal to alert this, okay. So now if you click on this button, let me save it. Okay, so if you click on this button, you will see this time the JavaScript that we added as the part of this string is being executed. So this is happening because we are bypassing the security trust HTML uh, with this function, okay? But if you don't do that and you just, so you just set the raw text to this HTML content, then you will see that Angular will protect you from executing 
this javascript so let me show you in action so here i will set this dot html content is equal to raw html save it now you can see that uh, if i inspect it it did not even render the button because it had the javascript on it so it protected us okay so that's how angular by default takes care of the security but you can bypass it by using this function now let's move forward and let's look at the practical example of displaying a blog post with rich text content okay so on the top i'm going to define an interface blog post and title would be string content would be string okay and now let me delete almost everything and here i will add a post variable with the type blog post that we just created and initialize it with an object and we will give it title and it can be anything understanding angular html binding and content should be multiple lines of the string with the html tags h2 introduction h2 and then p tag in this post we will explore so in the real world this content this rich content would be coming from the database you might have saved it in the database and you will be getting it and you will be rendering in your ui so you can also have a ul tag or whatever you can imagine in html okay and in the ul tag i will add few list tags basic concepts and ally security considerations ally okay now let's go back to the app.component.html and here i will replace everything with the article tag and within that i will add the h1 tag that will have the regular post dot title interpolation and after that we will have a div here and within that div actually we will add an attribute or directive like this in a html like we did before but this time we will call a function get save html post dot content okay now we need to define this function below here get save html and it will be getting the content that we will be passing from the html of type string and the written type would be save html and we will return this dot sanitizer dot bypass security trust html okay and pass it that content save it all right so this is how our blog post looks like in the ui there are some common pitfalls that you should avoid first one is don't bypass security unnecessarily for example this is the bad practice if you are getting the user input in the ui you should never bypass it okay and this is the good practice that you should trust it only if it is coming from your server from your database otherwise it should not be trusted second one is handle dynamic content properly so this is how you should handle it first of all so for example you have a content component and uh, you are passing your uh, html text string from the parent as an input you should first create a getter like this and return type would be save html and you should check with the ternary operator or with the regular if condition that if there is content then sanitize it otherwise don't sanitize it if content is not available we should return the empty string by the way let's explore another elegant approach to handle the html binding using angular's custom pipe feature the safe html pipe provides a clean and reusable way to sanitize html content so let's generate a pipe with our angular cli here i will run the command ng generate p for pipe and the name of the pipe would be safe html press center all right the pipe has been generated let's open that pipe and here first of all i will add a constructor that will be injecting the service sanitizer of type dom sanitizer okay all right so after that in the transform we are expecting just one variable that is value of type string and the return type would be safe html okay and after that we will be returning this dot sanitizer dot bypass security trust html and pass it the string value now to use this pipe first ensure it is declared in your module or if you are using standalone components like i am using you should go to your relevant component and here you need to add the safe html pipe in the imports array like this okay once that is done go back to the html 
file and here I will just get rid of this and use post dot content and here I will add the safe HTML pipe in this way. Now let's see if it is still working. Yes, you can see it is still working. But what happens if you don't use the safe HTML? Let me show you the, show you that again. All right. So this approach offers several advantages like cleaner template syntax, reusable across component, separation of concerns, easy to maintain and test. Today we have explored multiple ways to handle HTML content in Angular applications using inner HTML for direct HTML rendering, then understanding the Angular's built-in security sanitization. Then we implemented the DOM sanitizer service. Then we created and used a custom safe HTML pipe for cleaner code. Each approach has its use cases. Use inner HTML with DOM sanitizer when you need direct control in your component. Use safe HTML pipe when you want a more declarative approach and reusable solution. Always prioritize security and only bypass sanitization when working with trusted content. For your next steps, explore Angular's content security features and experiment with different sanitization strategies in your projects. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Ayastech for more Angular tutorials. Drop your questions in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.